How do you do? I'm uh, Graham Murphy, a product manager here at Tech Reynolds. Today we're just going to quickly look at the uh, Fluke um, 1738, uh, downloading and producing a comma separated file with the results. Okay, what we've done is we've taken a memory stick, we've plugged it into the um, 1738, menu pops up, we select the appropriate session we want to download, we uh, hit F3 for the download to USB, and the data is downloaded to the uh, memory stick. I've taken the memory stick, I now plug it into my um, PC here, and I'm going to uh, not do that to it, I'm just going to go fluke, open, and what I've got to do, I browse to it, I happen, there it, there it is there, it's mobile drive G, Fluke 1738, this happens to be the serial number, the one I'm interested in, session, and this was the session that I've actually, I'm interested in, that I've downloaded. So I open that, now it asks for a spot where to store the um, data on the drive that I'm working on here, so I'm going to store it there. Right, brought this, uh, this up now we hit this button over here this export button all right now we can export whatever we want um, max min average etc of all these parameters we can select demand power quality parameters etc etc all the event data etc so in this instance i'm just going to download the trend data now take note we've got a semicolon separated file or a tab separated file this instance i'll select a tab separated file now i'm going to select export now it's going to have um, a file name here, I go save. Now I'm going to browse to that file, I took note of it, it happened to be in Documents, Fluke, Energy Analyze, in Download, and there's the file there, so I'm going to right click, and I'm going to open that with, uh, I happen to have Office, Open Office Calc, you may have Excel, when it pops up now, what you've got to do, I'm going to select a tab separated file, now you may have to, if you're using Excel, you may have to highlight the first column and select um, column to text function and a very similar panel will come up. We select, in this case, it's a tab separated file. If you've selected tab or it may be semicolon, etc. Select tab separated file, imports it. And here we now have all of that data in an Excel spreadsheet. Start time, end time of each sample, there's a 60 second period, and here are all of the various columns if you want to do a calculation. Now when you open it in Excel, the date time may not display correctly. If it doesn't, just simply highlight the column like this. I right click and I go to Format, and what I've got to do is, uh, with the date, I've got to select, create a custom format that looks like this. And you go, OK, that will display the, um, the date time correctly. So it's relatively easy to take a Fluke 1738 and download the data and then import it into a spreadsheet for whatever calculations you need to do. Thank you very much.